So these two structures right here are your clavicles. And your clavicle is going to articulate with both your sternum and your scapula. And this bone right here is the acromion of your scapula. So if this is the acromion, then this is the acromial end of the clavicle. And if this is the sternum, this is the sternal end of the clavicle. So if I wanted to remove the right clavicle, just like this, Note that the smooth end is going to be the superior portion of the clavicle and the rough end is going to be your inferior portion. This flattened um, end is going to be the acromial end of the clavicle and this cone shaped region, this is the sternal end of the clavicle. And one way to kind of know that is if you flip it over and if you look for this and feel for this rough region that is only located near the acromial end, this is the conoid tubercle. And it kind of juts out right there. And the acromial end is the end that is most lateral. So you may get this as a bonus question or it may be worth points, but if asked if this is your right or left um, clavicle, just kind of orient yourself. Remember that the smooth surface is going to be the superior surface. And remember that the acromial, the acromial end will be the end that is most lateral, which is near the conoid tubercle. And then know that the medial portion of the clavicle will jut out anteriorly. Also note that the acromial end of the clavicle it kind of juts out posteriorly and the two-third um, the first two-third medial region is an anterior convex um, orientation so the acromial end will be more towards the posterior region and this first two-third medial region will be anterior to help you decide if this is the right or the left clavicle